Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a resource, a tool that doesn't use batteries, no electronics, and it can get you some of the best pictures, especially portraits, out here. Today we're going to learn about how to use a reflector or a def diffuser to help get you some better shots. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so they start off about this size. Uh, this one is a actually rather large one. And uh, let me unpack it for you and show you what it looks like. Ah! Okay, see? It's a rather large reflector. And this is one of the best around. Uh, it's a, called a five-in-one reflector, and the reason is because there are actually five uses of it. There is a white side, there is a gold side, as you can see here. But this thing is actually sort of like in a sleeve. And if you unzip this, first you gotta find the, where the zipper ends. If you actually unzip this, all right, I got the thing open. So uh, on the inside of this one, on the gold side, there's actually a black material. And on the other side of what would be the white side, okay, you can see that there's a silver material. Oh, okay, and, and the reason it's four or a five in one is we've just done four of the uh, five. The other one is this translucent. So as you can kind of see, maybe not, this is not a complete solid piece of white. Light will actually some, somewhat come through that. So we're gonna show you how to use the five in one reflector. Actually, today we're only going to show you how to use two aspects the white part of it and the translucent aspect and see how this can help your pictures all right and so here is another picture of the uh, reflector Sandy and Sean are holding it and you'll notice that they're only showing the white side and what I didn't mention in the video was that you can take that outer sleeve and invert it inside out so that you can use those other two colors the uh, silver side and the black side and uh, the silver side, obviously very reflective. And the black side you can use um, to actually absorb a little bit of light and use more like a shade. But we're not gonna use those. Today what we're gonna be looking is at using the uh, diffusion, the translucent diffusion side, as well as the white side. So let's take a look at the effects of these things. Now, first of all, one thing you should know is the um, sizes can vary. The large size that uh, I showed you is 42 inches. This one is a smaller one, it's 12 inches. And it's also translucent, and it's also obviously white and reflective, but they pack rather small, as you saw the other one uh, packed smaller than, than it was. And this one packs really small into a size that you can actually keep in a backpack. And um, if what you're taking a picture of is not really large, you can still use it in the exact same way. So let's take a look at some of the uses of it. Uh, first of all, this is the use of uh, the reflector on Sandy's face. And you'll notice the left side of her face right here is in darkness. It's, it's shadowed, and this is what a typical snapshot would look like. Like if you just pulled out your camera, uh, maybe got some decent background behind them, and then took a picture, this is the, the picture you'd get. And it looks, it looks okay. But um, what would really make it a little more polished is if uh, the, this side of her face, the left side of her face, were lit up just a bit, just like this. So notice the difference between these two, between uh, her face lit up and not lit up. And once again, a snapshot and a little bit more polished. And the way that this works is you use the reflector side or the white side. And here she is with um, no reflector. And then we put Sean in place. He did a great job, by the way. He was an excellent assistant and model. And here he is holding the reflector with a white side facing Sandy to reflect that side of her face uh, or, and the light on it. And let's take a look at the difference between the two. Uh, no reflector and then reflector. Look at, look at the side, side of her face and it lights up. Also, there's a close up once again, uh, lighting up. Now, um, and here's a picture of me holding a reflector myself, and you'll notice a couple other things too. Um, the light, the right side of my face lights up, but you'll also notice these little catch lights that'll happen, and that's because that's the actual reflector. And really, when most people look at pictures, um, they're not scrutinizing exactly what's in the eye, but once you see that light spot, it really brings out the eyes and makes it stand out a little bit more. Okay, here's another use of a reflector in a slightly different way. Instead of using it as a reflector, we're using it as a diffuser. And you'll notice here, Sean, in the harsh sun, is reacting like most people do. They do their best, but the sunlight is just so bright in their eyes, it's hard to not squint, grimace, and uh, in this case, you'll notice he's tilting his head down just a little bit. I want you to pay attention to this area here underneath his chin and also underneath his nose, because that will uh, be really distinct from the next picture. 
All right, he's a happier kid here. Uh, part of it, most of it is because he doesn't have the harsh sun in his face. But look at the difference between his, um, that chin area and that nose area, okay? See the shadows in those areas? Now look, the shadows are much softer. And this does great things for just lines all over the face. It really softens the face. And the way you do this type um, of, of uh, diffuser use, actually, not reflector, is you put the um, reflector in between uh, the subject matter and the light source and the sun in this case. And here is a pro tip for you, okay? Because some people may use this reflector and just um, step on back. Get as close to the subject matter as you can and just keep it out of the lens. So get as close as you can because the closer this thing is to the subject, um, the light will be softer. Um, and right now you can see that right now, uh, right about at his waist is where the reflect the uh, reflector or diffuser stops and so I would put my lens uh, right about here and shoot him from that direction and once again you get some really nice uh, differences between that no reflector or dif diffuser and then a diffuser and by the way these things are not electronic they're not battery operated and they're not that expensive and you can keep them in your backpack or the trunk of your car or again that really small 12 inch one you can keep in your backpack and carry around with you um, and it makes a really big difference as you can see let's take a look at a few more picture examples all right here's a little lego minifigure and this time i'm going to use the the uh, reflection re and this is a 12 inch one by the way okay so this is a small one that you saw earlier uh, i'm going to use the reflective side of it there and let's see how it makes a difference i want you to uh, notice a couple things the side of the uh, lego minifigure's face right here and then also this uh, shadow Another thing you're going to notice between these two pictures is that little bit of right there is the, ref, is the uh, reflector. So it adds a little bit of highlight. Again, people aren't necessarily paying attention to what is that circle in there. It just adds a little bit more of uh, interest in there. So once again, uh, no reflector. And then right here, there's a reflector. You can obviously see a big difference in the face. A lot of that side of the figure shines up. And, and, and most people aren't going to wonder, gosh, how did they get that picture? But this one looks... Um, uh, sort of, yeah, snapshotty, kind of flat. You take a picture like this, it looks a little bit more polished. This time I'm using it just like we did on Sean as a diffuser. So I'm placing it over the Lego minifigure and then shooting from underneath like that. Okay, let's take a look at that. And here we have the uh, Lego minifigure without the shade or the diffuser. And here it is. And, and by the way, pay attention to the shadow right over here because once we put a shadow over the whole thing, it really diffuses the light. And again, um, you'll see the um, diffuser right there, and notice how it softens the entire light, All right? All right, yeah, here's one more use, once again, of a diffuser. Uh, look, pay attention, now you know what to look for, these harsh shadows here on a face and this harsh shadow right over there. Let's go with a uh, diffuser, using it as a shade much cleaner, much more polished look. And it's so simple. All you do is you, you can set up the diffuser this way so that the light's coming from a window over here, comes through, and then it can land on your uh, object over in that area. So um, once again, there's the difference. Uh, no diffuser and a diffuser. You can use these when you're taking pictures of uh, plants, flowers, and other things, and it can really bring out the color. Uh, you can also get more definition and just more more contrast, um, more color and things like that. So once again, uh, just to wrap up, very inexpensive. I can put links on um, the show notes, by the way, so you can get, check out links or just look it up on Amazon.com for these reflectors or diffusers. But once again, the difference between a sort of snapshot look of a photograph and one where I use the diffuser, or this one's a reflector on the side of her face, and uh, again, looking back and forth between the two, big difference. And this one, once again, <laughs> Sean, um, with a uh, n no diffuser, and this one where we go to a, a full diffuser. All right? So there you go. Now you know how to use one of these things. For more information on how to use uh, other resources, other tools to get great photographs, head over to my website at pocketlenses.com where I can teach you how to get great photos with equipment you already have with smartphones, point and shoot cameras, compact cameras, and uh, all these resources are available for you at pocketlenses.com.